Okay, so just a few of the keychains. Well, these ones are diamonds and pearls. And then I have these quilling ones, these pattern ones. Then some of these I haven't quite finished because I don't have that thing on them. So that's a lot of tape. I love these ones. These are the metals. Gold, silver, and bronze floating in clear resin. And I have some dog tags and you get them. And then these are hard to make <laughs> for certain reasons, but lovely because they have the pressed or dried flowers that are embedded inside the, the resins that I have to embellish with rhinestones. I just realized that <laughs> I've been selling some of these and I haven't even put together a video on the completed ones, the really complete ones. Anyway, so this, this 20, 20, 22 inch top that remember I was afraid to resin it and then I did resin it after six months. Anyway, I was looking for the some table legs because I was going to make it into a small end table but I have a buyer for it and they say they want to put it on their wall so I had to let her go anyway so yeah I am making all my letter keychains and I just put them out in alphabetical order and then I realized I'm missing some letters and I was like I forgot my husband took a bunch of M's and H's and other letters to work for some of his colleagues um, and he has forgotten to bring them back. I have more that are not finished, but so I have so many different types. I've seen YouTube videos where people like show a video on them making one particular type, but I I can't just sit up there and make the same. Well, if you only have two two um, A molds, then yeah, whatever. I get bored really quickly. So this A's have a few B's. Of course, I have some that are my personal favorites. This one is very stunning, the um, the flower ones, the pain in the butt to do, but and, oh, there's the C's. And D's. Oh, these just, let me get up before I fall on them. Oh, this one right here, it's a new one that I've been making. I've been making some guy ones. This is one. I've got gears in there. And instead of pom poms and tassels, I have a bottle loop. I mean, I don't know what else to put on there. Here are my E's. Those two up there are actually dog tags. And F's and G's. Just, this guy's upside down. Huh. Some of the G's got flipped over in the packaging. I need to fix. I can, I can open those bags and I'll fix them. G's. Oh, my husband took K's to work too. That's why they're in the case here. Okay. Got some ends. What is very pretty. But everybody has some different teas. Please get oh that's my shirt R's. Some butterflies. More flowers and I have lots of S's. I'm going to do another S in the gears too. T's. I'm going to see some different little butterflies here. Some rhinestones. I'm going to do a different one with a rhinestone bow on that. So, yeah. And then, fortunately, I made these ones. I have these um, pom pom ones, but I didn't realize the pom poms were so big they can't fit in these little packages. 
so I can't really do anything with them as of yet. But this C has beautiful flowers on it. It's probably not even in focus. Nope. Don't fall. Of course you will fall. And the H, that's this orange pom pom here. Turn over, my friend. That probably cool for a little kid. And I have the M and I have more. So I can only make so many letter keychains. I'm not going to make a whole lot. I have a lot of extra ones that I haven't actually put the attachments on because I might never have a person who wants a keychain with that particular letter. That's the problem. There are certain letters that are more popular than others. And then I have this big one here. That's definitely for a wall. And I have some other letters I haven't even done yet, but I just use the same resin and markers and glitter and some of these. I wanted some of the big fire pit rhinestones. I need to reset up this camera because it's not oh, there you go. But I couldn't find any all well, the big ones online and the heavier they are the more duty and shipping that we pay. So I said let me I can't show you my work surface. I mean I haven't even done a video of me doing them or making them because <sighs> my room is a mess. It is sticky. I have one gloves sometimes two pairs of gloves i hate my hands sticky resin gets everywhere and of course it can be toxic when you're mixing them because there's two chemicals that you have to mix together and when the chemical reaction occurs then that's when it's going to start curing so i have one a respirator when i'm doing it so i can't do a voiceover or talk when i'm doing it. i could barely breathe with that thing on you want to talk about masks try wearing a respirator all the time then it pushes up your glasses from your nose and then i can't see and Oh my god, some of these like top, I do the tops after they've resined and cured, then I do the top with um with UV resin that I have. It's a lot of work. I don't know if it's gonna be just reward. I have just completed a lot of these, but I, I've sold about 10. And I'm so grateful to one of my son's friends, Andrew. He bought the first one for his mom. So these would make great stuffing stuffers. Um, gifts, party bag items, and all those things. So I don't know where I'll be selling them. Maybe, and I don't know. I probably, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But anyway, and then the extra ones that I'm making, I'm turning my focus to the schools. I've made a set that are white, but I have glow in the dark dots on them, and we're gonna hook some schools up. So there we go. And I wasn't moving the camera around when I was talking. <laughs> mm, whatever. Okay. I am going back to drilling and filing and making my house and my floor and everywhere I work. Like line is like a hot mess because I was just experimenting. It's an R and I put some holographic numbers in there. So let's see if I put this up on a board or wall with other letters, like letters or numbers. So the child will say, stand back from the board as, as a de designated distance and say, R. And then they would not touch, stay where they are, and read off any numbers or letters that they see that is embedded in the letters. So that's a vision. Oh, this is an, another new one that I was experimenting with, and I like this one too. So the gears, I just put them on a... Why aren't you focusing? You are a nuisance. I'm right here. You can't see me? Stupid thing. That's why sometimes doing it on my phone is better, but I don't have enough space on my phone. Anyway, let me stop. I'll, I'll edit that. <laughs> you, should, you should hear the conniption. So I just took this out, so I have some cleaning up to do and derming. But I use some of the gears. The problem with the gears is that the very small ones, they only have a little bit of them. And I have all these huge ones, but they can't fit in these letter molds. So then I ended up cutting some of them. And then I just made these little coils with some wire that I had. And I think that's quite interesting. And I have a couple of special orders for my son's friends. They want special ones. But um, depending on how they come out, we'll see. 
but I don't plan on doing a whole lot of special orders because people I know would order or want what I don't have and I am not about to lose my mind looking for something that's going to drive me crazy so I put another coil across this tea it's pretty cool too so I have to I have, yeah I have to open up my own shop how about that not a small business in Bermuda right now you crazy you crazy <laughs> Anyway, I'm going.